In Learning Objective 2, we're going to look at uh, various and sundry features of bonds. What makes up a bond? What is a bond indenture? And some of the terminology that is common to bonds across the board. When you buy a bond, uh, you will get and sign an indenture. An indenture is a written agreement between the corporation and you, the lender. And what is an indenture? Well, it is the legal document that explains the terms of the bonds, the total amount issued, description of any property that might be used as security, as collateral, uh, repayment arrangements, any call provisions. So is your bond callable by the corporation? That would be called out in the indenture. And are there any protective covenants protecting you, the investor? Um, registered form is one form of a bond. And I have a, uh, this is actually a government bond here. Um, that is in registered form, and it has uh, my name on it, my wife's name on it. And I began buying bonds, government bonds, uh, when I worked in industry, a local defense contractor, and uh, started saving essentially for my uh, children's education. At the time, we didn't even have any children yet. We knew we wanted to have children someday, and one good way was to just, a fairly safe way was to put our money into uh, government bonds. Uh, this is a tr uh, treasury bond, um, U U.S. savings bond, $50 value, and I believe I paid uh, $25 for it. Generally, they were about half price, and they would mature at some time in the future. Um, and, and some of these keep gaining interest, and some stop gaining interest. Some are tax deductible if used for educational purposes under certain years, not every one. So there are certain conditions on all these bonds. And you can find the value of the bond today by typing in this registration number that is at the bottom of the bond. But this is a registered bond. It's in my, my name and my wife's name, and only we can cash it. Uh, payment is made directly to us, and uh, most uh, corporate bonds are registered these days, and treasury bonds are in this format these days. Uh, bear bonds, in some of the old days, it used to be whoever held the bond was entitled to cash it. So if you dropped it on the ground and lost it, um, well, too bad. So uh, recommendation is always buy bonds in registered form. Uh, some other terminology, collateral, are assets that are placed to back the bond in case something would happen to the company. Uh, perhaps we put buildings as collateral. We could sell those assets and uh, get some cash and then pay back our bondholders. So you'll see the term uh, collateral being used very frequently. Uh, mortgage securities are bonds that are secured by a mortgage on the property of the borrower. Uh, seniority, t there are junior bonds and senior bonds, and the, this is indication over uh, who gets paid first in, in uh, case of default. Um, bonds can be repaid at maturity for the face value and then may be repaid uh, in part or in total before maturity if they're callable. Uh, to this end, the CFO might set up a sinking fund, to kind of a savings account that uh, the trustee would manage to redeem the bond early. And again, what's the CFO doing managing his or her uh, debt to equity ratio, essentially? They're just trying to uh, call it in early. And if they do that, they're able to uh, manage debt to equity. Uh, if they have a particularly good year cash-wise, they have lots of cash sitting around, they may elect to call in some of the bonds if the bond has a call provision. So we can call these things in early if there's a bond provision for uh, a call uh, indicated in the bond indenture. Typically, you'll get a bond premium. You may get uh, the $1,000 back plus all or part of a portion of the um, coupon. So that should be all called out in the indenture. You also get some protective covenants that protect you uh, listed in the indenture, uh, a list of thou shalt and thou shalt nots. Uh, thou shalt uh, only pay certain amounts of dividends. Thou shalt not take on any more debt. Um, thou shalt not merge with another firm or some sample negative covenants. Also, you may get some positive uh, covenants that say thou shalt keep uh, your uh, financial statements in good order. Uh, you shall prepare financial statements and, and show them to us on a regular basis and keep your collateral in good condition. So you'll see some uh, protective covenants that protect you, the bond holder. On page 207, we see an example uh, indenture. Um, these are the terms of the bond that you will sign whenever you buy the bond. In this case, uh, the author looks at Cisco Systems. Uh, first of all, what's the amount of the issue? One billion dollars. So one billion dollars will go on to Cisco Systems uh, you know them as a, a maker of large computer equipment, routers, and so on. Uh, $1 billion they are borrowing uh, from we the people, from investors, in the form of a bond. Uh, this will go on their balance sheet under long-term debt, and the, their um, 
uh, monthly or annual um, interest payments or coupons will show up as interest expense on the income statement. What's the date of the issue? 3 3 2014. Uh, when does a bond mature? What's the time to maturity? Well, it matures on 3 4 24, making it about a 10 year bond. What's the phase value? $2,000. Most corporate bonds are $1,000. This one's a little bit different. And the, and the case is uh, $2,000 if you want to buy a Cisco Systems bond that's offered on page 207. What's the annual coupon in dollars? $72.50. So therefore, we can calculate the coupon rate by taking the annual coupon divided by the face value that you see right there. So it's 3.625% is the coupon rate or rate of return on this bond. Uh, what's the offer price? Is it offered uh, at a discount or will it be at the full $2,000? Uh, the indenture says it's 99.925% of par. So I multiply that by 2000 and I get a uh, offering price of 1998.50, a slight discount to the $2,000 face. Uh, what does the bond make uh, annual or semi-annual coupon payments? So it's semi-annual. We must do C by 2, R by 2, T times 2 to calculate the price of this bond. Does the bond have any collateral behind it? No, there's no collateral, no assets protecting the bond investor on this one. Uh, can the bond be called back in early? Is it callable? Yes. Uh, what's the standard and poor's rating on this bond? A very highly rated bond. It's in the A category, so uh, relatively safe. Uh, the Cisco system bond is rated A1 AA minus.